let's call it 95 million euro for Enzo Fernandez and loan him back to Benfica until June. This video is being sponsored by our friends at Surfshark. Now, you've probably heard people talking about VPN providers a lot and I'm going to explain to you why it's a plus and why hopefully you should go with our friends at Surfshark. So Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to look at the internet entirely anonymously and unlock the world's largest Netflix library, the likes of the USA in Japan. It also keeps you safe and secure from hackers. Let's imagine you're out and about, you're having a cup of coffee, you're in college, you're in the pub, something like that. They use industry leading measures, uncrackable encryption, and the most secure VPN protocols to keep you safe and secure while you're having a look on the internet. Also, one subscription will run across all of your devices, meaning that there is no need to look elsewhere. One subscription, you got your phone covered, your laptop covered, whatever it is that you need. Surfshark is really easy to install as well. And right now, you can get an amazing 85% off and three months additional free by using our link in the description and the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. That is 85% off and three months additional free, meaning it works out at less than $2 a month. Now, this offer runs until the end of this year only. So if you're looking for a VPN provider, look no further. A friend at Surfshark have got you covered. Let's start with this. It says Enzo Fernandez or Liverpool will offer $97 million. So I don't know what that equates to in euro. I think the dollar is a slight bit stronger. Let's call it 95 million euro for Enzo Fernandez and loan him back to Benfica until June. If it materializes, River Plate will receive almost $25 million. And um, that's because they have a 25% sell on clause. Now, the account that that's credited to, it's a pretty big account. It's uh, River Instante. We're at River, I-N-S-T-A-N-T-E on social media. Um, and it says, we provide all the information on River Plate instantly, debates minute by minute of the greatest games, draws and much more. And over 100,000 followers. So, you know, that's come out. And there's no need for it to be sensationalized from the River Plate side because, you know, they have a 25% sell-on clause and whoever he goes to, they will receive that money. So it's interesting but you have to balance that against what we also heard today from Paul Gorst and some others, which is what we told you the other day. We don't believe there is an agreement in place. And I said this to you the other day from the people we reached out to, the limited pool of people that we have that we reach out to and stuff like this. Everybody agreed without any hesitation that the interest in Enzo Fernandez is 100% there, but nobody was aware of an agreement in place between like Liverpool and Benfica or Liverpool and, and the players representative so we'll have to wait and see on that one but there has to be some truth to this at this point with regards to the, the serious level of interest you know you're not going to get all these stories particularly coming from the Argentinian side as well um like if they wanted to really make something up that river account which I don't believe they are they just throw Real Madrid's name in there or something like that, you know, something that would really resonate with South American football fans. But yeah, Liverpool seem to be in this race genuinely. Um, I don't know what it'll cost. I don't know what the fee may be or may not be. He was named Young Player of the World Cup for his exploits there with Argentina. So yeah, not too shabby. Happy to happy to see these things, happy to see these stories. Um, What are we thinking? Do we believe it? Do we think there's truth to it? Do we... Do we just want it to be true? Because that's the other thing, isn't it? Like, that's why, and again, I'm, I'm not speaking about this River Plate account when I, when I say this, but that's how these accounts on social media prey on people. They, they tell us stuff that we want to believe so much is true that it then gets circulated, clicked, liked, and want because they're playing off our inner desires and our, our hope for the best for a football club. And a lot of the time, that's bullshit. And that's why I get so wound up by these accounts, those ITK accounts that I know and they know are willfully lying to people. But let's wait and see. Let's wait and see how it pans out. I'm excited by it. I hope that there is a progression on it. Um, but let, let's wait and see. Uh, so it's Jude and Enzo are just one of them. I can't say that I know it's both of them. I can't say that I know it's one of them. I can say wholeheartedly that Bellingham is the priority. Bellingham is the target. Bellingham is the one Liverpool want above all else. 
after that, we're all trying to figure it out together. I, I, I hope, we all hope, it's both. Um, the back of my mind, I genuinely thought that we'd see Enzo Fernandez end up in a Manchester City or Real Madrid. Honestly, I'm, I'm very, very, very pleasantly surprised by the level of um, stories linking us to an immediate move from. Um, and maybe, maybe if Liverpool want to get it done, looking at deals we've done before for Naby and whatnot, um, maybe this is the way. Maybe loan him back to River until June, as this article said. Let's wait and see. What about Jude? Oh, don't you worry. I got you a little bit of Jude stuff to talk about. So Fabrizio Romano was speaking on, uh, I think it was Bev Victor on the on with them on a I think must be a regular segment he does or something I don't know but he said that um Liverpool obviously are still interested in him and believe we're at the front of the queue but that Dortmund now want about 130 million euro now I've always said to you I don't need Fabrizio Romano to tell me anything about Liverpool going after Jude Bellingham or how much he wants us or we want him but I do not know about numbers. I don't have any inclination of the wages, the transfer fees. So this is where I would say to you all, the types of journalists like Fabrizio Romano or, uh, uh, I don't know, who else are we talking David Ornstein or any of these type of guys, they'll give you those details that I just simply can't give you because I don't have. Um, but again, it's all coming at Millhouse. It's all looking good. Uh, all these stories about Liverpool talking about all kinds of players from every part of Europe. Maybe FSG's trying to get attention around Liverpool for potential investors. Or could we already have a secret buyer that's pulling strings and telling FSG what they want for Liverpool's future? What are your thoughts? Everything you've said there could be true in, in every different scenario. Um, and we all probably have our own wishes of which one. For me... What I would love to be true is what uh, that guy, uh, that, was it that, what's the dude's name again? <laughs> Rex, yes, that Rex guy. What he spoke about with, if Liverpool buy these players now and, and put them in, in such a, a tax-efficient way or something like that, that the new owners, could, if they bought the club, they wouldn't have to carry those losses or pay tax on those things over. So I'm hoping that it's FSG maybe setting up the landscape for a new owner to come in or a big investor to come in um, and front loading like that to make it more attractive. Because it is great. Don't get me wrong. Like It's amazing to see all these links. It's amazing to see Liverpool um, apparently going after so many players. But there is a big but. And it is my big but for once. There is a big but. We've seen this before. We've heard this before. We've been told about big windows or next year or next summer or we're monitoring this guy and we're looking at this guy and generational talent this and yada, yada, yada. We need to see action. We need to see it happen. It's that simple. So let, let's, we have a window coming right up now. And it said Liverpool will make a 45 million euro offer for Sophie and Amrabat, which is believed to be enough for Fiorentina to let the midfielder go. Amrabat was convinced by Klopp and has a clear inclination towards a move to Liverpool. Um, there's some other stuff again today. LFT Transfer Room credited at Santi underscore J underscore FM who said Klopp has already met with Sophie and Amrabat and wants the midfielder at Anfield. Amrabat prefers in capital letters, love when they do that well played LFT Transfer Room, uh, moved to Liverpool despite interest from Spurs and Atletico. And in this case, they speak about a price tag of about £35 million. Again, it's not a million miles away from the €45 million Euro that was spoken about in the other one. Uh, LFC Transfer Room then go on to say, Klopp has met with Amrabat's agent, not the player himself. Another meeting is expected in two weeks to discuss the potential transfer. Yes, please. Yes, please. What? Well, please do. Yep. Yes for me, that's a massive yes. Two thumbs up, golden ticket, you're through to the next round. Uh, I, I've been sold. And I've been so impressed as well by the fact that Klopp was looking at this guy and our scouts were looking at this guy before he shone in the World Cup for Morocco. And he's bald. And he's good bald. So, yes please, 35, 40 million for a player who has been performing at that level I would take that in a heartbeat and I think that would that would be another very, very good, fair piece of business from Liverpool Football Club. 